show you some of these trays here and uh, the meanings of it there. In the old days they cut a stone axe all the way around and peeled the barks. The bark was peeled off, maybe to carry us uh, fire, torch during the night times along the creeks here, or making rafts for when the creeks do rise, you want to cross your babies across the creeks. A lot of this was tied up in the big baskets and then put babies on and float across the water. I said, float. Float really well. What you have here is uh, also Aboriginal tree marking. This is the way my ancestors uh, mark trees. When you're walking along riverbeds, walking along tracks, there are tree markings to indicate you're on a track, you're on a path, you're on a trail. Look further this way. Again, you start to see the same effect here. This is all done by my ancestors. And you follow the creek and you'll see it all the way. Going all the way down, small one over there, all the way down, all the way down. It's particularly with this uh, granite, Sometimes they have big air bubbles in them. And then where the bubbles used to be, our people could use that surface for crushing nuts, for crushing, uh, making flour. Become a very useful part, that hollow section there. But later on, I'll show you just up the creek some better places. See the again, healer. Let's go grab some leaf there in the corner. Big gabai, we call that one gabai, ant bed. Big fella Grab, grab big muff. What we got there is a uh, soap leaf. That one there, uh, in the old days, if you're out hunting, you uh, got a lot of animal intestine, guts, blood, all that on your hands. So you, you want to clean yourself up. Now what we do have in our rainforest and our uh, savannah lands too, is a lot of leaves that act as soaps. Now the leaf that uh, Jarawai has there, Jarawai meaning lightning, that's his totem, he, uh, he's gonna show you how to use soap. Lightning. <laughs> I say Jarawai meaning lightning. You're gonna leather him up. Jarawai's here. Jarawai. And then you get the...